What's up design family and welcome to another episode of Fit Design TV. On today's episode, we'll be looking at rayon. What is it? How is it made? And how does it relate to a wider family of amazing fibers that you definitely should be considering in your upcoming collection? If you guys have ever wondered about rayon and why I think it's the perfect fiber to consider for an upcoming sportswear summer collection, watch this video to find out. Hey guys, and welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports fashion, graphic design, manufacturing, and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions, and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around. You're in for a good one. Before we start discussing rayon, we have to understand that rayon is part of a wider family of fibers called semi-synthetic fibers. We already know that we have a natural family of fibers like cotton, silk, wool, and a synthetic family of fibers like polyester and nylon. Well, right smack dab in the middle sits our semi-synthetic fibers, whereas natural fibers are sourced from natural materials and they're created using natural processes, we have Synthetic fibers, which are sourced from man-made materials and are used creating man-made processes. We have semi-synthetic fibers in the middle, which are sourced at their base from natural resources like plants, vegetables in this case. And then we apply man-made processes in order to create the fibers that we then weave or knit into the finished textiles. Well, rayon is one of the main types of semi-synthetic fibers that we find on the market and it's quite interchangeable with the term viscose. We have to understand that rayon is a wider term for a variety of different uses and applications, and with most things in life, our economic or our commercial applications for a type of product are not only limited to one or two industries. In this case, rayon, when used in the garment industry, is used predominantly in the format of viscose. So when I refer to viscose, I'm referring to rayon and vice versa. So what is rayon and why did it come about? Well, rayon came about because we needed an alternative to silk. Silk is quite expensive and it's quite a scarce natural resource. So naturally, we as humans want to find an alternative that would mimic the same physical properties and allow us to create this type of product at scale. So a lot of the physical properties that rayon has are borrowed from silk. So it has a quite soft to the touch feel, has a lustrous appearance, it's quite, it drapes incredibly well and it forms the body beautifully. But at the same time, because of its primitive production methods, non-treated rayon is considered a dry clean only fiber. What that means is it can't be susceptible or is very susceptible to the added wear and tear that you can add when hand washing or machine washing. It breaks down the fibers and it leads to a shrinkage of the garment excess wrinkling, the bleeding of colors, and the overall breakdown of the fiber itself. So in the market, most types of fibers or rayon fibers are untreated because now that we've managed to create treated fibers that are allowed to be machine washed, those are considerably more expensive than other types or natural types of rayon. I highly recommend if you're gonna look at rayon, do go with treated fibers because it's going to give your customers the added convenience of not having to dry clean every time. Yes, it's going to be a little bit more expensive, but it's going to lend the fiber to a lot more durability in the long run. Also, an, another method, instead of using 100% rayon, is combining rayon with other types of fibers like polyester and spandex to bring in some more durability, water resistance, and stretch and tension resistance to the fiber itself. So now that we've discussed what rayon is, how is it made? Well, we've mentioned that most semi-synthetic fibers are based on regenerated cellulose, and that's the same thing for rayon. Rayon is first created into the base viscose, and the way that's done is we take the cellulose and scientists apply a, a lye bath in order to dissolve all excess cellulose away from the core substrate. We then take this material and it's passed through a machine, which again, removes any excess liquid, water, and creates a white crumb material, which is treated with an acid wash in order to create a yellow crumb material that we refer to as cellulose xanthate. This white crumb material is then, of course, treated with another acid wash. It's passed through 
um, a machine that takes out any excess air and it's washed with diluted water in order to purify the finished product and we then have a powder or a crumb solution that is ready to be passed into a spinneret to be turned into the fibers that are then spun or woven or knitted into the final textiles that we know and love. Now we have our viscose material or our rayon garment material. What are some of the pros and cons and why you should definitely be considering rayon? Well, we've already mentioned that you should definitely be using rayon in a treated form to allow it to have a bit more durability or mix and match it. So what are the pros? The pros are as follows. Right? It's incredibly soft. It has a lot of its physical properties from silk, so it's incredibly soft. It's quite breathable. It's non-allergenic because it's based on natural, a natural material, not like polyester. It's not going to create any excess rashing or create a unpleasant reaction with any skin type. At the same time, it forms to the body quite well. We've mentioned that at its core and its natural format, rayon is quite a delicate material. So it does have the, let's just say the propensity to shrink under the wash, especially if you're using the untreated version of rayon. It also bleeds colors quite easily, again, if you're using the untreated version, and it tends to really wear out over time as it begins to dry up and it loses its softness, again, if using the untreated version of rayon. That being said, I highly recommend that you look at rayon because when you do add it with other fibers or you do treat it with any surface finishes that can prolong its durability, it becomes a great fiber that is gonna provide a super durable, lightweight, silky smooth fiber that is going to make your garments feel amazing. I highly recommend you look at this fiber for t-shirts and other lightweight types of apparel like tank tops, especially on ladies tanks, stuff that you're going to want to be using in a summer, in a summer kind of application because it's just the ultimate fiber that's gonna create a amazing sense of free flowness, lightweight, and just a silky smooth overall touch and feel. If you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about semi-synthetic fibers, feel free to leave in the comments below which ones you wanna see next. We're considering looking at bamboo, tensile, lysol, and sea cell. These are very common types of fibers that are available in the garment market. I definitely have a lot of love towards bamboo based garments. So that's definitely something that I would love to share with you guys. If you wanna see that video, let us know by smashing a massive thumbs up. If you guys enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing if you have not done so already. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Fit Design TV. Until next time, stay awesome.